Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Alan. Uh, I'm fixing to do another project. Well, I've been messing with it a little bit, and I had some that I had done already, and I didn't really like the way they turned out, so I'm trying to start over on them. But I just got done with this one, except for the paint on it, and I'm fixing to start on another uh, scroll saw project. But I just got done with this gate. And, well, building it anyway, I'm still painting it. The thing is 16 foot long, or just shy of 16 foot. It's super long. And it says Alan's Acre in the middle. My name is Alan, but it's not mine. It's the customer's last name. And I didn't do the name. I built the gate and I took the name off of their gate entrance and those scrolls. And uh, they said that was 40 years old and they wanted to keep it because her husband built it a long time ago. And it's got the expansion in it because they don't want their dogs to be able to come through it. And you can see this connector part up here. It's going to have this little weather vane on it or big weather vane that also came off the gate entrance and they wanted to keep that they just wanted the gate entrance down because they can't get the rv up under it and so they wanted to keep this stuff and decide to build it into a gate and it says allen's acre right there and it'll all be painted red and black that's just some brown primer on it right now some of that rusty metal primer but it came out pretty decent i was worried about bad warpage it did warp slightly, not real bad, but with it being so long, I really, I really got lucky on it not warping that bad. But anyway, I'm letting that primer dry, and I'm going to get the painting on it. I got to build a wheel for that too, and the other side of the hinges. It'll be a piece of pipe that leans up in it, but I got to build the rest of that eventually. But right now, I'm working on this scroll saw stuff. It's some signs for the church that I go to Great Baptist Church and uh, y'all may have remembered that last trailer pit I did I built and gave to them and something else I built and gave to them but uh, right now I'm trying to do door signs and this is what I got going a lady at the church had printed these out for me on the thing and I got this one already the pastor's office it's cut out and what I did is made a frame for it you can kind of see the yeah, there you can see it like that. But I routed out a frame and fit it in the back. And I did kind of a, didn't really get a good fit on that. But it's not going to matter because I'm cutting out brass. The brass will fit in the back there. And I got a pretty good tight fit on that. It's still got plastic on it. But the brass will fit in like that. And that way you'll be able to see, you can kind of see it through. There it is. So you'll be able to see the brass through the letters. And I'm going to put a light stain on them. Uh, I think it's pecan stain. It kind of matches the stains in the church. But this is the next one. I got like 10 of these things to do. So it's going to be quite a while before I get them all done. Because I'm just doing them for free. I'm not charging anything for them. And it takes me a while to cut these little bitty letters. They, those things are hard to cut. But anyway, we'll get started on that.
All right, I got it cut out. <clears throat> I'm going to have to do some cleaning on a lot of the letters. But it is at least cut right now. I'm going to try to sand the inside of some of those letters and straighten it all out and then go from there on it. make up for that busted corner I'm just gonna round these corners off I still got to put polyurethane on it and the hanger on the back, but I'll do that tomorrow after the stain dries. And this is the other one I had already done. You can see that turned orange a little bit. That's why I changed the wood type on here. I don't know why they had done that, but there's nothing I can do about it now. You can see I slipped with the router a little bit there. I actually have a router table, but it has a bow in the center of it, so it kind of messes me up. I don't use it a lot, but that's it right there. I get the polyurethane on them and everything, and I still got more to do. I got a lot more to cut out, which I'm going to do a little at a time because I'm doing them for free. So, I mean, I got to do pay jobs ahead of that. But anyway, if you like these type of videos, please like and subscribe. I do a lot of welding videos, a lot of woodwork videos, just a little bit of anything. Uh, like I say, please like and subscribe. I got more videos coming. This is one I'm working on now. I just got it put together uh, yesterday and painted. I'm doing trim on it now. It's pallet wood. I'm going to start cutting the trim out for it and put it in on there. 
But anyway, like and subscribe and uh, come back. I got more videos coming. Appreciate it.